Hey y'all, Rick, Fearless, Fairless, Stroker Dallas, Stroker's Ice House, Punch Wally Garage. Good morning. How you doing? All right. Today is Wednesday, March the 20th, 2024, year of our Lord. Season number two, episode number 80. Doesn't it seem like yesterday we talked about, you know, hey, are you going to keep the show going for a second year? Now we're 80 shows. You realize I've done this show every day for 365 plus 80. So what is that? 365, that's 445 shows in a row. Okay. Today's show we will cover Harley Davidson, Red Lobster, and 100 miles an hour. Let's go. In my life, the 366 Project, coming to you almost live from almost downtown Dallas. The Mr. Peabody Wayback Machine goes back to 1975. In 1975... I'm going to make that 1973. In 1973, my brother and I were 16 and 17 years old. 17 and 18, something like that. We had a bunch of, you know, early jobs like kids do. And one of them was at Red Lobster. We hired on there together. And we hired on to be bus boys. And we used to sweep and clean and bus and roll silverware and all that stuff. And then uh, from bus boy, we went to the kitchen. And we made like a... I remember the potatoes were really cool. So you got these big potatoes. So you unloaded these boxes and dumped them on there. So you had these potatoes, raw potatoes, and you put butter all over, all over them with the brush. And then you put like this rock salt or, you know, that big salt all over them too. And then you put them in the oven for, I don't remember how long, a couple hours or whatever, but those potatoes were good. And then the hush puppies, you know how they make hush puppies? They pour the batter, well, this is how they made them 50 years ago. You had this little machine and you poured the batter in there and the machine had a little crank on it and it just boop, 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 boop. It dropped the hush puppies in the, in the grease. They had a bow like of a ship and I think they called it the galley or something, and that's where the bar was. And I remember me and Rand had to, they had a big mess in there. One time somebody had dropped something, and they asked me and Rand to stay and clean it. And we did. And then eventually I was a waiter. And I remember, you know, I didn't mind the bussing and the sweeping and the mopping. And I enjoyed being part of the cook staff. I didn't like being a waiter. You had to dress up, you had a little bow tie, and it was, uh, you know, you're carrying heavy plates out there and balancing, and I think my first day, I dropped a tray full of stuff. Yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was a time in my life, and I'm glad I'm past. I like Red Lobster just fine, but man, that was tough. Okay, let's check that chuck. Check that chuck. You, woo! Hey, look at that, boy. What you got there? Well, I don't like to brag, but check these peace sign shoes out. So you got the black and white, and white and black. Wait a minute, black and white, white and black. That reminds me of uh, Paul McCartney and Stevie Wonder. It doesn't matter if you know, like that. So you got the peace signs, right side up, upside down, red, white, and blue logo, white toe, white so, red, and kind of a black racing stripe, 
black shoe strings, one eye down, double knotted for safety. Hmm. These are, say it with me, y'all. These are some handsome chucks. Okay, so where you want to go in the office today? Right there. So people have been asking me about this motorcycle. So this motorcycle we call Blackie. The reason we do, and I did a show on this last year, my dad's best friend, James Blackstone, they called him Blackie, bought this motorcycle new in 1961. And in 1964, he got killed on it. He was on his way to our house for supper. He lived in Dallas. We lived in Irving. And uh, he had an accident and got killed on this motorcycle. So growing up, the whole left side of it was was wrecked where he had, had slid down the highway. His parents, when he died in 1964, his parents didn't want anything to do with this motorcycle. So they gave it to my dad, his best friend. So we had it in the garage growing up. My dad never started it, you know, but it meant the world to my dad. Me and my brother used to play on it as kids. Well, 20 years later, you know, I would tell Pop, hey, why don't you let me get that old Triumph going? By then, he had moved it to his farm in Abilene. And one Sunday, he brought it down to me and... A month or so later, I got it going, and I cranked it up. I said, come over. I want to show you something. He came over. I cranked it up. He started crying. I started crying. I said, what do you want to do with this motorcycle, Pop? He said, why don't you keep it and give it to one of your kids one day? So if I had to sell every motorcycle I have, which is a lot, that would be the last to go. That's a family heirloom. That's Blackie. Okay. There's a lot more to the story, but I only have like less than 10 minutes to do the show. Uh, dad joke. I ordered a chicken and an egg online, so we'll see which one comes first. Strokers Dallas merch, M-E-R-C-H dot com. Get off the couch, a motivational minute. Many roads in life that we walk down, we walk down alone. But that's okay, because those lonely roads will make you stronger. That's true. You don't always have to be with other people. I could do this show with other people. I could interview people on this show, and I did all that. I've had other shows. I've done other things. I like doing it by myself. That's the lonely road I walk down. When I do this show, it's just me and you. I'm your brother, I'm your dad, I'm your grandpa, I'm your best friend. We just talking. StrokersDallas.com, check out my motorcycle inventory. StrokersDallasMerch.com, check out the uh, shirts and hats and all that. We just got some new hats in. We got some regular hats and then we got some of the flat bill hats that, that some of the younger people like. Check that out. You know, we're having our spring fling, spring fling, April 5th, 6th, and 7th. But on April the 8th, we're having a eclipse watching party. So we bought a bunch of glasses so you can come here, wear the glasses, watch the eclipse. And we will, that's a Monday, and we will have the dollar store generals will be playing. It's an eclipse party. The dollar store generals are playing from 2 to 6. So come out. Enjoy the festivities. You know, the hotel rooms in Dallas are, are getting hard to get for that, that weekend. Okay, I'm going to leave you with this. In 1914, Harley Davidson hired a racer named Otto Walker to ride in a 300-mile race in Venice, California. That man averaged over 100 miles per hour for 300 miles. He was the first guy ever to do that. Can you imagine going 100 miles an hour for 300 miles? And this was in 1914. All right, I got to go. Love you, bye. Hey, I'll see you tomorrow.